guys this is mast and welcome back to some more predecessor today we're back playing adc we're playing twin blast this time it's my first time playing them um we're getting a little bit of a skin diff here we're going against this, this like follow-up game to the little kira adc that we played um and they have the same adc which is probably a good look because i definitely feel like i out adc that guy but they do have some i think early access skins and then this guy is christmas which is probably better than the master richter that we went into before but I'm still sussed out by Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is scary, man. Oh, that's a, okay. That ability feels different than I thought it would. It's got a little bit of a charge up to it. So we do get to beam in. I've read the kit. I feel like this kit seems like it'll be really simple. I honestly think, as weird as it sounds to say, yeah, um, as weird as it sounds to say, I think it'll be more so remembering where the abilities are, which ones are on which key, I think is maybe going to be a little, we're going to get our dash here just in case we need it. I think actually might end up being a little more scary. So you can already see, this guy's a little bit of a weirdo, right? Um, we've got a double auto attack chain. As far as I can tell, it basically ends up being the same as normal autos. We're doing a normal auto damage overall, I think. Um, if not, maybe a little more for, for the trade that it's kind of got like an animation time to it. Um, I'm planning to just, the recommended build isn't crit. I'm planning to just go crit anyways because I want to mess with it and it seems like, like, I don't know why it wouldn't be fine, even though it's recommending more so proc items, because from reading the kit, he did almost get me with that. From reading the kit, it doesn't seem like procs are really particularly that good. Like, they get they get nerfed to match the, the weird attack chain. So, like, I feel like they're, I'm sure they're fine and the recommended build might know better, but I'm going to just keep messing with crit because crit seems disgusting. Do a little bit. Definitely seeming like this lane's looking a little slower to start. We are going against Akira this time. I'm getting a little of my own medicine here. I think my grenade's gonna feel weird to use. Let's chuck it. Okay, it might be really intuitive to use. <laughs> that was insanely easy. <laughs> I thought, uh, I think there's a different ability. I think somebody has a grenade that that, that shit just, maybe it's because I hit him so quick. That shit like rolls to the moon, man. Okay, we got a quick flash there. I think I actually had a crazy follow up ready for that. We're going to hit. If it wasn't for the flash, that should have been guaranteed grenade. Um, I don't know what to hit. Should have been guaranteed grenade. And then we're going to queue and we're going to get our autos in between if we can. Yeah, we get extra attack speed. I can't tell with the way if it's written if it's actually for two full autos. Maybe I should test it in a sec. Or if it's because we have a two auto chain, it's just like the next auto gets extra attack speed. Yeah, let me see if I can find out. Okay, it seems like it's actually the next two like full chains or whatever. Okay, Richter is feeling it too much, but he needs to calm down. Get his ass. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he is so dead. We're clicking. We're clicking on him. By the way, I forgot to bring it up. We got the sup from last game. It happened to be the same dude. He was going to go mid. And I, I hit him with the... I don't remember exactly how I put it. Like, you're not going to... Oh, that's a gank. I think we're just chilling. This guy just kind of scuffed the gank. I figured I should have had to flash that. I should really be grenading this, and I don't know why I haven't. Oops. Okay, these guys do seem to be doing some dying, though. Big beam! <laughs> I don't know if that AoEs or not. I thought it would. That ended up being good. That ended up being really solid, man. I am having too much, too much fun with ADC at the moment. This role is genuinely, I already know, I'm pretty sure the title of the Fakira game is going to be like, ADC is too easy. And I genuinely, I am, I am feeling like it's too easy, man. I did not expect this shit to feel easy mode. I feel like a king. I kind of want to do gold, but I don't think I actually get to. I feel like an absolute king right now. Which one do we want? I think they're both pretty good. Let's do this. Do something like that. Yeah, originally, so I purchased Twin Blast after running into him a lot. I'd seen on a tier list, I don't remember if this was in this patch or in the patch before Grim came out. I'd seen in a tier list that he was like potentially the best ADC it looked like. So I went ahead and purchased him once I had some leftover funds after I got Sarath, I think. And then just never really got around to playing him. But it seemed like he'd be easy. So far, it seemed like he'll be easy. Yeah, he feels more intuitive than um, Kira, to be honest. And I thought Kira was easy. Like, I thought his grenade would feel difficult. It actually feels really simple. I just kind of need to remember that I have it. <laughs> it's really all there is to it. By the way, Richter is out farming us temporarily. It's probably not a good look. 
It's kind of interesting. I'm assuming last hitting with the red, is it like coded into the game a little bit? Uh, yeah, they did do a little bit there. Oh, it does kind of, okay. So if we don't hit it on somebody, it's just when would I do that, right? Clearly we just hit it. Boom. Um, it does actually roll pretty far. What about on minions? Okay, it does stop on minions. I'm sure some of this is stuff that I can just read, but we ignore that. Kind of just sustained out with Narbosh, man. Narbosh is such a nice support to have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get in there. We roll in there. Don't suck. Don't. Nope. Yeah, he's looking for it. Yeah, this guy's... I think this Richter's pretty clean with it, man. The fact that he gets to tower and then immediately turns to pull, I feel like he probably does have a decent amount of experience on Richter. Luckily for me, there definitely is some smite crossover with this where, like, I'm kind of picturing it like Sylvanas pull. So even if sometimes we get pulled, I feel like we're normally not getting pulled in stupid spots. It's more like I just need to actually be up on the wave and do things. I can't just be terrified all game just in case. Okay, I feel like gank diff happens soon. Oh, I just want my last hit, man. Yeah, I'm trying to, because we're getting all pushed up here, I'm trying to not overdo it. Trying to get a little more range on these on this minion clear. I don't think I get to follow that up that much. Okay, the ult is going to be a learning experience. Like, I sort of know what it does. I have not pressed the button, so... Don't know how it's actually going to feel. I think we basically just get this. Lock it. Yep, yep. Wait, did we not get that? Don't think Buddy gets to do this one bit. Okay, ult is easy enough, man. Ult is absolutely easy. I don't know how the wall blocked that. Okay. I don't know in what world this guy is absolutely out of his mind. Nice, we got another juke on him. Oh, I did get slurped, though. Yeah, we're just dead. I don't have flash. I don't think there's that much we get to do about that. The fight didn't go as well as I thought it should, unfortunately. Um, and we don't have flash. I feel like we actually... Uh oh Tommy's actually cleaning up here. Okay, that's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's cleaning up a little. Oh, he's... Buddy? Okay, he's not. Okay, he is. <laughs> he scuffed that a little bit, but it kind of worked out. That's fine. They got a little two for one there. Oh, no. Don't run down my Narbosh, man. Anyways, to get back to a way earlier point that I dropped. <laughs> this guy just ran into tower and died trying to kill him. I'm like 99% sure what the hell was that? I don't think Narbosh had mana to make a play. Otherwise, I'd be hyping him up. I'm pretty sure he literally... I think the guy just wanted the kill so bad he hinted. I don't know what that was. Yeah, anyways, to get back to the earlier point that I dropped, this Narbosh is the one we had in the, the last Kira video in the second game. And he was going to go mid and I hyped him up. I was like, no, come back to me. My my support goat. And he actually did. And for that, I will always remember him. Like it's so interesting getting used to Richter in this game. Um, we're going to have a lot of spots like that. I just want to be getting my farm here if I can. Did it already? Did I already lose it? I think I already lost it. That's too bad. Getting used to Richter in this game, there's spots where it's like, do I want to roll the pull or do I want to not do it in case I actually get uh, pulled out of dash because then it's so much worse. We do have flash here, so I want to get crazy. Okay, I'm hoping... See if he'll go in here. Yeah, yeah. Atta boy. Atta boy. Punish him. No, you don't pull this. Nope. Yeah, I know you want it. You don't pull this. I knew that guy. He's, he's readable, though. He's consistent. Oh, we get in here. No, we get in here. I don't give a shit about your ADC. Come here. Burr! <laughs> okay, well, I thought that would be more of a kill. We got his flash. <laughs> I got so excited for that. Can I flash during my ult? I might have just scuffed that. I probably did scuff it. I didn't want to chase after the ult. I felt like, uh, like we might have had vision, but I wasn't paying attention for the vision. God, his sustain is crazy. I don't know if he's maxing that or what. Oh, yeah. So I didn't expect, I wasn't planning to level the grenade. We maybe could. 
I'm trying to remember. I don't think the grenade gets that much base damage, though. I think it's more of a cooldown thing. Okay, this guy is already back, so this is looking a little bit sus. Wow, they're just not coming to it. Okay. That makes my life easier. We're pretty oom. I should probably be looking to back pretty quick here. Probably not overcommit. No, you're not hitting this. You're not hitting this. Big jump. Oh my god, I need it. Okay, we dip. We dip. I don't know. I wanted a VSR. I wanted him with that smite VGS. But instead, we'll be returning to base. All right. Uh, no, nice try. We're getting beads. I'm scared. And then we get this. We I click it and we buy it. Thank you. We go bank. This guy's going the same item again that he went in the last game. Going that that crit life seal item. Uh, we could maybe. I don't know how to call this. I think we can fight this. Have a grenade, buddy? Yeah, we need to get our teammates in here, though. I'm getting active. We go, Burr. I scuffed it. <laughs> I think they cleaned it up, though. <laughs> I just started whiffing, Ben. How much damage did I take from what? I took a lot from Black Hole. I took a lot from Purge. It's funny, because we just played Kira. I'm assuming that's our Q. No, that's probably your ult, right? That's probably our ult. We just got... I went burr, they went burr back with their giant AoE ults. Oh, that's too bad. It overall ended up being a two for two, that's fine. Oh, three for two, nice, he cleaned him up. Yeah, considering they were looking to do Fangtooth, I think just evening that out is fine. Um, I do think I played that absolutely brain dead, but that's okay, we learned something. Because both of those people that we dashed into have just giant AoE, don't come at me bro type ultimates, and then I specifically came at them about as hard as I could. So, yeah. That's okay. Oh, they're cooking over there. Hang on, we're about to call a little attack fangtooth of our own. Yeah, let's do some of this, boys. Yeah. Can I pull this and not get absolutely dumpstered? Okay, Buddy knows he has legs, right? What is this? <laughs> I've never seen this. Normally, I've always been a melee pulling this because I basically haven't played ranged characters up until today. Um, yeah, I thought Fangtooth would move if you were not meleeing it and you were pulling it. That's bizarre to me. Like, I guess it keeps it simpler. Maybe eventually that'll change, and for now they just want to keep it that way because it makes it more reliable, or it's like we don't have to worry about any sort of, like, super... Don't do it. Oh, he was I in that. Sir? My my farm? I swear to God, I'll get petty again. No, I won't. That one, that one was less. He didn't just yoink a wave. He just split it. If that's what our guy did last game, then I would not have cared. If our mid came over and just split a little bit and didn't just straight up proxy me. I do need to learn, um, I had seen from something, it sounds like junglers get less wave farm. Don't think we had to flash that, right? I feel like probably not. Okay, they got very aggro there. Seems like we're chilling. Oh, I should test when I can if we can back roll this. Because I know with Kira, if we, if we hold the back movement key, we can actually, oh yeah. Hang on. Yeah, we can back roll. I wonder if like everybody can do that for these types of movement abilities where it's like Rama roll. Okay, there's a fight happening. I sort of just want to farm real quick. Get this XP because I'm feeling too behind. Okay, they might just punish me. Yeah, I think they're coming back. So that's why I'm chilling here. Yeah, pretty sure what happens there is the guy dies anyways and we don't get to rotate in time to do anything. So I think that's fine. Oh, does he want to go on him here? That's too bad. I was hoping we could get active on that. Don't think we're going to be getting ganked here, so I think we can maybe get temporarily aggro. 
Man, stupid minions blocked. No. <laughs> I love that so much. I care way too much about whether or not this guy gets to hit his pull. I'm sure that'll like definitely the novelty will wear off eventually. Sir? You're getting a gank. I don't care. We go burr. Now we go burr. Wait. I'm out of mana. That was such a bizarre... Like, we got ganked, but then the, the gank just chased our teammates. That was a bizarre fight. I'm okay with how it went. I need, to, I need to stop trying to go burr on this guy. I care way too much about just... <laughs> About just bullying this guy because I think because I think his character is annoying. I need to focus the ADC band. I am inting off cooldown right now to go burr. I mean, sort of. It's actually it's not exactly inting. We're one for oneing off of cooldown, so it's really not that bad. But I can also just not do it. They have healing this game. No. Let's go to Molisher. Let's get Pen. Uh. Yeah, maybe cover that. Fang Mao is up mid. If I was paying more attention, I would have just gone right there. I don't know if I get absolutely demolished by um Shinbi or not, but I could have covered it, gotten some farm. Gotten some very safe and easy farm at that. It's kind of annoying. The stupid ADC's been out farming me all game, even though I'm out CSing her, and I feel like out out impacting her, right? Surely? How did I exactly miss all the, all those last hits? God damn it. Okay, we might get ganked here. My support's on the way, so I'm just going to greed this. Nice. Yeah, and sure enough, jungle's sort of coming over, but my support's closer. So, we're chilling. Yeah, I got to get used to the uh, making sure to remember to auto-cancel. Before the game started, I was really remembering... Oh my god, he is zooming me. I was really remembering the auto-cancel thing with our passive, and now I'm forgetting about it. Okay, I think we actually do a buffer once. Okay, it is demolishing my health bar, but farm is good. It did demolish my health bar. Oh my god, we probably should not have done buff. I just figured, like, jungle's just legit not gonna come do it, so I'm not taking from him. But I did sort of take- nope! Sort of take from myself. I definitely have to, uh... I gotta shut out the voices right now, man. Like, my entire team is not near me. And you already know this guy is trying to hit me with the slurp. I think- can- did he? I don't think he did. I heard a whip sound. That's probably just his auto. He's eyeing me like he's still got it. Nope! <laughs> hey! Oh, I missed. She's getting in there. I don't have flash, so I gotta back this up. Nice, I think I actually backed that up well there. Unless he got absolutely wild and went for like a flash pull. Should have been chilling. Oh my god, give last hits. Nice. That was my first like chain last hit off the autos. That was kind of cool. Hit a little tap tap. Alright, we get in there. Okay, we don't. She is pushing Phoenix. Uh, we could, yeah, yeah, we could do Fangtooth. I just wanted to make sure that somebody defended it, but we have two people spawning slash backing, so they're already going to be there anyways. Yeah, my awareness has been picking up, huh? Look at that. It's like, oh, she's pushing. We should back. Just kidding. They're calling Fangtooth and they're spawning? It's happening. We're learning things. Alright, I would love it if we did not get zoned at their T2 here. I would absolutely adore that. This is a little bit the ADC life. I have found, like, my god, my farm is so rough this game. And there's definitely been a lot of games where it seems like, yep. Eventually you get late game and you do disgusting things, but in the meantime, you and support are getting so little farm compared to everybody on the map. I think the big thing that sucks about it for ADC is I feel like there's a lot less control over the farm. Whereas junglers, middle laners, off laners are either just inherently spoon fed farm, which I feel like off lane and mid lane is. Or for the case of jungle, you can just really go crazy on farm and just get it yourself. Um, 
Oh, I was going to go this and I just didn't have money before, is what I was. And they have six. Okay. Huh. I mean, our team did stuff. I guess we'll go part two. I feel like that wasn't a very F6 worthy game to be, to be honest. That was kind of a weird one. Maybe there's a bunch of infighting or something. I don't know. You know, we'll go part two. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to part two. Um, I had a little in-between game here that I was recording that was honestly going just fine. We overall did top damage by quite a bit on the team, but I stopped recording because our mid absolutely scuffed it so hard that I was like, it's better to just go next because our their mid out-rotated their jungle and their jungle ganked plenty. Their mid was legitimately in duo lane once every minute or two minutes and our middle laner literally never rotated back a single time and I got a little sick of it, so... We are into a different part two, and I looked up a little build. For one thing, I got, so we got late in that game. I was going the crit build. Stop it. Uh, I was going the crit build. Crit build felt absolutely awful late game, and it's not a build that I had looked up or anything. It was just one that just kind of seemed straightforward, like I'm sure we can build this and it's fine. Didn't feel fine. Felt really bad. Like, I still, I managed to do damage overall just because I was landing stuff. I should have gone on Kira there with the, uh, with the Q. Um... Yeah, felt fine because I was landing stuff, sort of, but I feel like we can do a lot more. And there was an interesting build for this guy that I wanted to give a shot. So we're going to try and build around. I think basically the idea with this is build around as passive more and it's sort of more of like an auto cancel type build. So I'm going to have to partially wing it. I'm not going to entirely remember it. Have a nade. Um, yeah, we're going to have to a little bit wing it. Let's see, do we get ganked here soon? Red buff was on this side, so I feel like we got to be playing this decently cautious at the moment. Try and, try and not get too terribly punished. Where the hell did my nade go? I feel like that should have landed, no? Okay, I'm hoping at some point we can actually spot jungle on the map and know a little better of what I get to do with myself. Oops. Because I want to get aggro, I just want to not in, you know? If we get our dash, I'll feel a little more comfortable to in. Okay, I think we get a cook here. I gotta get a little more used. I keep trying to auto-cancel the normal way, like I would with like most things in this game and with Smite, where it's like cast ability then auto, and I need to do normally two autos if we're trying to actually long-term DPS. This is this guy's whole thing with his passive. Nice. That's a flash. We'll take that. Our Muriel's doing a lot right now. I am running very oom. I'm hoping we can not use any abilities on this wave and that we can go to gold camp in a sec. Would be neat. And it looks like she's got a similar idea here. Give me that. Give me that. And we do this. Yup, yup. It's looking good. Looking promising. So, I don't entirely remember. I think Muriel's mostly got a lot of slows other than the ultimate is the big thing. Thank you. So, I don't entirely know how we're going to be playing around her. She's somebody that, like, I did look up her kit, but I haven't been playing with her that much, so I've kind of forgotten a lot of it. <laughs> I think a lot of what she does is just kind of general support stuff. I don't think there's a whole lot of thought process that we're going to have going on for us where it's, like, trying to think about how we play around her. Yeah, unlike Decker, who's very, very, like, uh... Decker's got a lot of different stuff. I'm trying to remember, I think Decker's got... Wait, no, I'm thinking partially of Bellica. Bellica's got an insane CC, but Decker's got that wall. Oh, they just killed her? Okay. I'm assuming... I mean, I probably should have naded. I'm assuming she just kind of goofed. Because I don't know what else I do there. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize she was remotely dying, but <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm not support. I don't know. I don't know what I could have really done to stop it. Maybe there was something. Other than a goaded body block? Okay, I think this is a pretty good time to look for a back. Just take the opportunity here. So we're going to start stacking this. This is a weirdo build. Like I said, I don't entirely know what it's going for. I'm just assuming part of what it's going for. Um, which is basically our passive on this guy seems insane. Casting an ability, we can increase attack speed by 40% for two basic attacks. Um, which I believe is two, two chains of the basic attack, so four for the mini basic attacks, basically. Um, so that's insane on its own. So we don't need attack speed as much. So if we go ability-based, we can ability spam more, get some pen to hit harder, and just kind of have that guaranteed attack speed, plus get mana to spam more often. And I'm assuming that's more of an early game, mid game build, and probably more of a build you might see in mid, I'm not sure. 
make him more of like a physical mage sort of. So, so yeah, we'll try that. I honestly, I basically remember, oh, hitting that would have been great. Got her flash off that, really. Did she dash at some point and I just didn't catch it? Okay, we're, we're getting in here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Decker did the Decker thing, but we did get a punish a little bit. I do still have flash. I just want to not be wasting it if I can avoid it. Ah, uh, good damage. Getting them nice and low. I want to get really crazy here if I can. And I think I can. I goofed it. That's one. Hang on. This is two. Nice. Oh, and she tanked? I really can't just sit up here? Hang on, I have to science. Hang on, I have to science. Okay, I didn't get a science. Minions came. Did not work out like I wanted. My big plan was get in there and burst down... What's her face? And I'm not used to... The way the Q hits is different than I'm expecting. There's a middle laner here. Oopsies. Oh! Oh, I actually hit that. Oh. I should have thrown it way sooner. Nah, you're gonna be sitting. Nah, you're gonna be sitting here. I'm trying to save my mana where I can. You're gonna be going back to base. Thank you. Oh, I guess she was just clearing. <laughs> All right, let's dip. <laughs> right, I looked out. I didn't realize she'd said anything earlier, and I saw the fuck to start the FK. I was like, "Uh oh, she got mad." <laughs> and then she's just like, "Somebody's texting me, and they need to stop." That's funny, man. I thought it was gonna be her yelling at me. It was just some random IRL shit that's annoying her. All right, well, we're off to a good start in this one. Um. I think this is, uh, to be quite honest, I think this is what we can frequently refer to as a skin diff. Not that I have a skin, but they don't have skins, and that's good. It means they're likely also less experienced, so I get to massacre them. As we go ADC mode on them. Oh, they really got this? They're gonna get punished. Oh, they're gonna get punished? They're actually gonna get punished. Hang on. Get blasted. Get blasted. Oh, yeah. Wall me. See what happens, dead. We go, Burr. I keep not finishing with this. It's like it's physically impossible. Oh, that's a gank. Nope. I think we got his ult right there. And then we get a turn right here. Nah, you're dead. You're not dead. Nah, you're dead. You're dead! Yes! We are clean like that. And you know what? We're clean with this one, too! Okay. I shouldn't have leveled that. I got excited. <laughs> I got a little bit excitable, my bad. I really... I straight up put a level in the grenade, gave it an entire 10 extra damage, and then whiffed it, because, you know, believe it or not, he saw it coming. Ma'am, oh my... Stop. Stop. Get the hell out of here. I think we're actually gone. Okay, I think I think we got a little bit of a, uh, a sup diff right there. For, for us, like, I think, I think SUP helped support, um... Bro! You're being cringe, man! You're being cringe. Stop being cringe. Seek help. Actually, we gotta stick around here now. She might have been unintentionally wholesome and helped me get a better, a better back. <laughs> hey! Stop chucking balls! Okay. I also don't want to dip here, but we act like we're gonna dip, and then we don't. You fools! I think they probably just cleared anyways. I think they're just not that sweaty. Stop. They might get crazy with a dive. We'll see. We'll see what they're getting up to. Okay, if they're getting up to absolutely nothing. We go back to base. We get this. Um, Because it's... Ma'am? Thank you. Because it's one of the items that I remember is part of this. Don't know if we should be building it yet. I might either alt tab to cook up this build as we get deeper or just absolutely wing it and assume I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh my god, could omen? No, omen is too much. Omen is overcooking. No way that's good. We are not F6ing. Who the hell did this? Somebody is 0-1 and pissed about it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's some actual relevant IRL reason and we're just uninformed. Thank you. Be taking that. Don't remember exactly what it does, but it seems like it gives us move speed and a shield. Normally, I think she just kind of hits us with it. Oh my, the damage! 
the damage. Tempted to ult. Very good. We did not ult. Decker wall exists, and I was really about to forget. Nice. Okay, wards here would be absolutely neat. And I do mean on my own part. Doesn't have to be my support. We get a ward there. Yep, she gets a ward up there. Add a girl. Boom. Oh my god. Oh my god, get beamed. Okay. I pre-jacked. I still, I need to learn the range on this ult. Boom. Boom. <laughs> that was really satisfying. All right, let's do a buff. Oh, let's, let's do a buff. I love, I could absolutely see it in her eyes right there, our support. Had such a support moment where she, uh, she was looking at me. It's like, oh, he wants to get in there and was eyeing the tower dive and then sees me turn to the buff and she's like, oh, we're doing buff. And then she sees me turn back and she's like, are we diving? And we just like, <laughs> I just like whooped you off her for, for like a few seconds there. It's funny as hell. She's just staring at me trying to figure out what I'm concocting in my mind. The hell? Up? We don't talk about it. We don't, we don't need to talk about it. Also, he killed her ward there. Which I do have a little ward of my own, which we will attempt to place momentarily. He could be sitting here like a weirdo. He could, that's Kira. Oops. Oops, oops. That's our oops button. This man is pushing Phoenix. Do we have an AFK rage quit? Of course, it's the weirdo that came dueling to start the game. No, we keep going with this one. We somehow 4v5 this one. I already had to stop recording the last one. We try and play through the scuff. I don't want to try and record two and then stop two and then waste an hour of my time. Oh, that was a good attempt on our part. I wanted to cage me in there. Yeah, that Decker wall is menacing, by the way. Very, very high potential ability. Oh my! We have pressed the button! Oh my goodness! I should stick around for money. Boop! Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be doing so much booping. I am so amused by these grenades. You can actually spam them so often. Don't do it. Hey, stop. Oh, you're pre-jacking on this. I missed my Q because of that stupid wall. Yeah, she's pre-jacking on this one. I got my sup back. Sup diff has a rot. Can you not dash my button, ma'am? Oh, there's a... Yeah, right. There's a jungler here. Anyways. Oop. I'm gonna get to beaming! Shit. Oh. And hang on, one more second, one more second. And a little boop! Okay, well, minions got in the way. Do not gank me. I just had my jungler here. I am trusting I get to do this. I am trusting the man is not sitting exactly where my jungler came from. Really only got one, huh? Alright, I think we might have to go right lane. This guy's about to be pushing Phoenix. Uh, let's just get beads. Do we get beads? I'm just gonna go beads. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I feel like we basically don't need beads for probably anything other than Quang ult. Right? Yeah. Crazy that I know enough to say that. My god. Or not Quang ult. Um, Quang tether. Like the Quang CC. Like Malika, obviously we can't, we, we can't cleanse wall of shields. Or whatever. Can't do anything about that. What if I just clap this dude? I'm 6-0, and but I'm behind him in levels. Like, he's got that crazy, crazy offlane farm. What if we just let him come back and massacre him? I feel like that's not actually going to happen, but I'm, I'm here for it. Let's see how this goes. Let's also do a little build peek here. I'm assuming that is just straight up damage. Okay, Seraph seems to just be AFK trolling in base. I saw her move a little bit. Oh, she's coming back to the to the off lane. Did she for some reason need to AFK? And she wasn't actually just being an actual child. Maybe. She could just be getting tired of being a child. That happens. Oh, baby, you know we launched those. Okay, not quite that far. But we kill her. Okay, I didn't land that one. So we don't kill her. Oh, didn't think she'd do that. Boop. Shit, did I not hit that? I really thought I'd hit that. Sir, stop it. Sir, stop. You need to stop too, lady! Bo 
We go burr. We finally get a go burr. Stop it. Bro, minions are blocking all of my grenades, man. I'm gonna have to get used to that. We have cooked. We attack the Fang Tooth. We attack the Fang Tooth. Okay, support is noticed. I think jungle is noticed. Offlaner maybe just actually wants to reasonably get a little farm and catch up. So I'm okay with that. Okay, we do seem to just get to do this. Dual lane might come in eventually. I don't have flash, so we could get very punished when they do. I should probably be sitting in here and eating her eating her shields. There we go. I have gone absolutely crazy this game, and I think literally all there is to it is these guys are a lot newbier than I'm used to, and I'm basically getting to to have the very rare, like, my experience has actually meant something type of game, you know? I feel like... I think their decker actually knows what she's doing. But I feel like a lot of these people are running into... I don't know, maybe I'm just cooking. Maybe ADC is just easy. But I feel like a lot of this is actually... I'm not against people with 10x the playtime so much. But I could be wrong. Alright, we probably take this, yeah? I kind of want to kill her under this in a second here. I might be getting too greedy at the moment. Yeah, like she is whiffing everything, man. I am clearing your tower. Yeah, there's a jungler. Don't care. I'm massacring her. Dead. I was about to talk shit, but I think she's a noob, so I'm just going to stop trying to talk shit. <laughs> I was about to hit her with the bozo, but I don't think she deserves it. Nah, calm down, buddy. Okay, there's, other, there's also other people. We will be doing a little dying, I believe. Oh my god, we actually got him. <laughs> we actually put him down. All right, that is 3k monies, and I'm actually dead. Hang on, we hit the alt tab. YouTube, Twin Blast Build Predecessor. Crazy. Hang on, a huge shout out to Joe, yours truly. We skip ahead. Next he goes, I think it's called Mind Razor, and then he's going Tainted Steel. I also don't think it's actually called Tainted Steel, but that's the name in Smite, it's Tainted something. Mind. Shit, that's my, it's not my, this. <laughs> he goes the, <laughs> I knew the item, I, I got the names mixed up. And then he goes, tainted rounds, close, right? I was close. Actually, that was probably specific to that game and anti-heal based, and I probably shouldn't, but whatever. Whatever, it was a scuffed little build peak. Oh, so I'm sorry, I was about to just start. I mean, I just split XP, that's fine, but I think. I was really about to yoink. Just absolute brain off, like, kind of smite moment, or it's like in smite, we just get to do that. Nope! Shit. <laughs> God damn it! I need to work on my nades. I had so much confidence it would hit, too, I didn't launch another one. That's funny. Deserved, deserved. It was going to be so cruel of me to go put her down there. If I whiff the first one, I shouldn't even attempt the second one. She just gets to live. That's how that works. So I'm not going to try and explain this build. I kind of brought up earlier on a little bit of what I think it's doing. That's all there is to it. We're just going to simply play the character and see how it goes. It's like, this is, this is a quirky build. I saw Joe Yours Truly, who seems to have some really good educational content. And uh, Pinzo seemed like... I saw just the, the Pinzo I just saw the thumbnail for, I think. But it seemed like th this is a, a build multiple people are doing that was kind of like ability-based auto-cancel twin blast. And I figured we'd just go for it. Alright, I'm assuming we really don't need to overdo this. I feel like we don't need to overdo this. Yeah, there's about to be their entire team here. Try and get them to run back. I don't want to get lost in VGS. That keeps being a thing where it's like, if I have to do a quick VGS, unless I already... Have the experience with it? I'm normally not trying to say it. That did not burr that hard. This guy might be a little tanky. I'm trying to be a little cautious to not be getting caged if I can avoid it here. Okay, Nades did some stuff. Nades got some big CC. And then I think we actually maybe get a clean up right here. Eh, maybe not. There's a lot of people. 
They're really low. It's very tempting. I don't think I get to do all that much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was just some nasty. What are they doing? Ma'am. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Bring it, lady. Oh, shit. Didn't think this guy would be here. I actually panicked. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to run. I could have just killed him. Boop. Nope. You nated. Boop. We run at them? Nah, we run at them. Another one? Oh, that was so close. Boop! Oh, I want her so bad, I don't get to kill her though. Yeah, we're already getting greedy with it. Already should be doing a little dip in here. Oh, yeah. I do think, I'm assuming part of the build is it seems like the Q kind of, if I can land it better. If I do better with it, I think the Q gets off of a really low cooldown and then absolutely slams. We probably get a roll a lot too. We get we get roll resets with our autos, which I kind of forget about. I can probably use it a lot more than I do. Alright, we did. Yeah, with that in mind, would Omen actually be good? We do get the bonus damage on the auto. No way we proc that. No, we don't double proc that. I don't think that'd be a thing. Malady, would that be good? I'm trying to remember how Malady works. Eh. Yeah, I think we'll just try and stick with this. I feel like Pen would be really good, yeah? What if we go into this instead, even though I've partially built... Sell that, go this. I feel like seems like a good idea. Okay, can I... How do I pull the item up? Bro. My god. My god! Okay. <laughs> I guess it bought me two T2s, so that's fine. But, did it? Yeah, it did. Or sort of. Yeah, that's kind of an annoying. I don't even know if it's exactly a bug. That's something I run into sometimes while buying. I feel like the menu gets a little mixed up. Okay, I think we should likely be starting to rotate a little more, prioritize some objectives if we can. What am I cleaving? Huh? What do I... What? Infernum? Is it... Oh, we double proc Infernum, right? Does it proc for full value? Is that part of the build? Because we're getting two autos. I was forgetting Infernum procs off of autos. Huh. Okay, I feel like pushing up here gets me demolish or allows me to kill their team and it's only one or the other. I think because we have our girl here, we're just going in. Oh, we got her nice and slowed. Oh, yeah, you're going down. That's a sub get. It's kind of funny. I feel like... Maybe it's just my lack of good supports on Smite, honestly. Um, or maybe I just misremember. I feel like in this game, I appreciate my support so much more than in Smite. But I think it's, I feel like people are surprisingly good at support in this game. And then also I'm still kind of in the noob phase where them just like doing things. I'm like, hell yeah, do your thing. <laughs> Don't cage me in. Don't do it. I know there was a Fang Mao over here somewhere. Oh, buddy thinks he's cheeky. Oh, stop doing damage. Oh, uh, I might've gotten a little too in there. Yep. Yeah, I might've gotten... Ma'am, the entire thing has been shielded by my support, you fool. If I die here, I deserve it. I did just run on up there and start farming again because we're fed. Oh, they're they're going mid just a little bit. Don't know how our ult's going to work here. Get the, the hell in there. Yeah? Yeah? I don't have flash here. Apparently we're fine. My sup is actually doing so much work for me. I really want to do more. I'm trying to not overdo it. I really am trying to like remotely chill. <laughs> that bounce was almost disgusting. <laughs> My god. Oh shit. Yeah, we're just dead. I just I just stopped paying attention and they just ganked. Yep. Got Quang in there, got Kira in there, maybe Fang Mao, I don't know. I think he might have backed. 
That's too bad. That's a goof. Yeah, the tragedy in this game um, that I've been vaguely aware of, but not entirely aware of, is that me and my support are basically the absolute entirety of this team, which is tragic because I want to hype my boy up for the incredibly based Perrin Ibarra name. Um, but <laughs> so many people are going to have no fucking clue what that is. So many people. Um, yeah, books exist, by the way, Zoomers and Gen A's. They do exist. I guess it's a TV show now. I swear to God, if you know it off the TV show instead of the books, my... Never mind, we don't need to get into this. Uh, <laughs> Reading is not just something they make you do in school, believe it or not. Oh, we're getting in there. Don't know if we're ever actually getting the opportunity... Yeah, zoom me? That was probably a dick move, don't care. Oh my! Okay, she has a stun. I didn't remember that. Oh my god, that almost reached, man. Uh, I swear, did I see somebody over by it? Stop it. By you? Did I not? Maybe I didn't. They're looking for a little fang tooth call. I am down. Oh, Argus is actually pretty farmed at least. That's good. Let's do it. Can't remember, I think we already got the second one, right? Am I tripping on that? Did they get the second one? I feel like somebody did. Oh yeah, yeah, we already got the second one. So we're getting super buffed off that. 8% permanent power buff plus some other stuff. Uh, we should probably just go do wave. I don't remember if she has a jump, come here. Oh, we got one, <laughs> we got one creep. <laughs> All right. So I'm feeling like this build has crazy potential if I'm better with it, is what I'm feeling at the moment. I think, honestly, at least with the way I'm playing right now with these team fights, where I'm having a lot more trouble focusing on specific combos because there's just a billion people to deal with and they're all going to be going for me because, you know, I'm 12 and 2. Because I have 80% of our entire team's kills. So I think if I play better with it, it can do a lot. And then other than that, I'd actually maybe rather have like a proc build. Oh, we just go on this guy. I think we can still go on this guy. I got him slowed again. The slow is kind of baby. They got their sup over here, so I'm going to chill. Keep yeeting. We keep yeeting. Uh, you're dead. Don't care if you have flash. You're dead. Nope, you're dead. We go burr. Shit, walls are OP. Oh, are you kidding? Stop it. Okay, I am doing some damage here. Ma'am, stop. I am doing some absolutely stupid damage here. Oh my god, minion, stop it. Actually managing to run oom, that's crazy. Okay, it might be overdoing this. <laughs> Is he really gonna go left? Would you really do this to your team? He's coming. I think I gotta chill. I don't think I actually get a push. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Oh, we got that on him. That was disgusting. Big ass blast. Uh oh. I don't have flash. I used it greeting a kill. I do have beads and I forgot. I think I hinted over that. Yep. I got tethered. I didn't pay attention to the tether until it was too late. And then it's over. And then we're all bonked. That's too bad. Yeah, so not used to Quang. I literally know he has that ability. I didn't really notice him cast the ability. And then I started moving nowhere while attempting to run away. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's like that. Oops. What's Demolisher or Perforator do again? Is this Demolisher? This is Demolisher. Oh, wait. I think this over Demolisher, if we're going ability based, might be crazy. We can get a constant slow, given it's a baby slow off of our ult, but the big thing is we can get a big 25% chonker that we add onto our nade and that we add onto our Q. This is probably cracked, right? And we're also getting a lot of pen. Let me peep the actual Alquang build. <laughs> Alquang, the Quang build. <laughs> uh, he's not that tanky. But we are going to build this anyways because I feel like I should have put it here. Just because it's spicy. I feel like this is really... I am cooking with this, right? 
where we're amping our, uh, we get so much stick potential off that. I'm just really sad now that I built the other, the other pen item instead, so that we're kind of unnecessarily camping pen if I want to go both. Everyone attack blue buff. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna trust they can do that on their own and I'll farm. Do a little gold here if I can. Oh, I'm zooming. Why am I... Did she chuck a shield from there? Also, somebody just did this. Are you just behind that pillar? Did you just, like, bank right there? I think they did. I think they got away with a little something. All right, we AFK in base. We scare the team into thinking I've rage quit. But I haven't. Wait. You guys hear that? There's like, <laughs> there's bullet clinks. <laughs> there's like bullet clinks from discharging the rounds. That's cool. And it's not even the same sound every time. There's at least three sounds, I think. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the video. That's a pretty cool little touch, especially considering it's not even like a revolver or anything. It's just from it actually discharging. I don't know guns enough. Discharging out the side or whatever. Like I'm assuming, um, what's his face that has the, the dual revolvers probably has a cool sound like that on his reload. Oh, Kira, stop. You greedy. Oh, you've been giga slowed. Look at the giga slow. Yeah, I cooked. I got my kill very yoinked. That's okay. I still appreciate him. His name is still based, and we definitely cooked. Might have to play this guy mid with this build soon. This is fun. I literally got one fight with the Giga Slow, and I'm already loving it. Big bounce! That was actually an insane bounce, I think. Dead! Okay, we need to put the Quang down. The hell's hitting me? Fang Ju, stop. Shit. I got very distracted by getting hit by camp there. <laughs> I don't know how much it mattered, but I got very, very distracted by that. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is a tough one. This really seems like a game where I'm doing good, I'm contributing, and it's just not enough. But I'm okay with that. As long as we still get to actually have fun with it and do things, like, that's fine. As long as I'm not just being, you know, like our teammates, they're they are trying to do things, right? They're not trolling, except for Sarath, who's mostly just AFK doing literally nothing and has probably just mentally forfeit the game from minute one. Everybody else trying to do things. And I appreciate the effort. They got the thing. Yeah, Primordial Blaze. Pretty sure I learned a little bit about how that works a while ago. Or not a while ago, like earlier today, like a couple hours ago. And it sounded like that absolutely slams. I don't remember if it was on abilities or autos or both. But it sounded like it gives a pretty crazy just straight up damage boost to like anything you're landing. By the way, I don't know if we've gotten to do this in a video yet. We get a potion here. A little strength potion, I'm assuming. Yeah. Some Omni Vamp as well. I kind of want to go murder that Kira right now. Okay, I wonder, I feel like yoinking red is hypothetically good. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to piss him off. I'm assuming it's actually worth on me. A little third person. This is taking me back to early PUBG days right here. Hold up. Oh, shit. Okay, this has gone terrible. Oh, there you are. Don't think we want to be fighting it. Yeah, that got uh, very awkward. I wanted to go on her, and then he was having somebody go on him, but then it was multiple people, so I was like, okay, this is probably dumb. <laughs> and I went back to her, and I got lost, and yeah. Oops. Oh my, hang on, hang on. Hang on, we go Burr. We go Burr. Can you not wall me, you bitch? Oh, I'm about to get to flashing. That really didn't hit you? Shit. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, we get in there. We get in there. Dead. Wait, shit. Dead. Shit. Dead. I absolutely tickled her. I did so little. 
Uh, we probably needed to push the minions. Hang on. Get a little sneaky here. Did she push up? I saw Decker for a second. I was gonna get my um throwing axe lineup. Okay, tell me we can actually do a little bit here. It's a 4v3 siege attempt. I don't have flash. I will try to remember to murder him. Boys? Boys? Okay. I was hoping we'd get to do a little more there. Ma'am, stop. Yeah, I will have to figure out this build. I can't tell if it's just... I feel like this guy doesn't do... I mean, this build's weird. But both games I've played with him late game now, we did this build, which is partially yoinked, partially scuffed. Because I only got the first three items. And then I probably don't entirely know what I'm doing with it. That was a good little little thing there. I should have been ready for it. Wait, can I do this? That was worth a try. <laughs> oh, this is looking a little spooky. Yeah. I have maybe dipped on my team too hard, though, in my spook. We do not need to die for Sarath. I just want to see, yeah, what we're getting to do here. Big angle? Shit. Snap. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh no, 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 no. I entered, I entered, I entered, I entered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got very lost. I did not realize I was running into Fake Tooth, but that's funny, man. I was just, you know, I was backing up. I was. Oh, what? Sir? Stop. What are they doing? Can we punish them? Please, boys? Nice try. Okay, they're not sneaky. They're a little bit sneaky. I want to go get to this phoenix if I'm allowed. And I am allowed. Oh, that's a... Are you kidding me? That was a beaut of a nade. Enemy down. Okay, I think we're just going to take a little heal here. I think this might be game, unfortunately. I don't know if we can stank these, so I'm just not going to buy them. Because the power one should matter so much more. Actually, I can maybe just find out they backed off. Maybe I can find a moment. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, this build feels weird. I feel like I'm probably just misusing it, though. Slash, <laughs> slash needed the full picture. Because <laughs> I do feel like we're doing pretty underwhelming damage. But I think part of it's a lot of the time I feel like I don't get an auto attack right now because I know I'm getting so focused if I'm really getting in range to at least consistently auto and do the thing. Yeah, I don't know what she is doing. Yeah, I feel like normally with another ADC, like I'm assuming if I had, um, what's her name, Kira in the late game right now and I built crit with her, a lot of these people would be like four or five shotting, something like that. Where you just kind of click on them and they're gone. That is not the case. All right, I'm assuming they're going to Orb Prime. We have somebody dead. We're kind of coming back from base. I think I maybe do a little back myself. 355 power, health. Okay, it seems like this is just free because it didn't take the power away. Wait, it also didn't do anything. I'm pretty sure my health stayed the same. The hell? <laughs> my I, th I thought I already had this much health. I don't know. Maybe that one didn't get bought or something. Yeah, I don't know if I should have stuck around and come to this. We weren't grouped, so I felt like it was if I ran into the jungle, I felt like I just died. Let's see if we get to do anything to this guy. That is a big wait, it didn't work. That's that's our cage. Oh my god, we got a little halo with that one. That was that was pretty metal. Where's the kill apocalypse? Not the not the me killing, the announcer. The announcer sounded very Halo for a second there. I guess he kind of normally does, but doesn't say Halo like things. Uh, I need a bottle and a nap in that order. All right. Hopefully they don't get free left Phoenix here, because Kira is just exclusively split pushing this game. Yeah, they might be. Boom! Wow. Some of these nades, I am just like, how the hell did this not even hit you? 
That's her flash. I am just chasing you down here. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Why did I auto? What am I doing? Oh shit, we're dead. We go burp. <laughs> Pretty sure we, I think we lose damage for ulting there. I just knew I was fucked, so I just panicked and hoped ult would do something. I really, that was too greedy. I really hope that we could catch her out and punish her. I think it's partially just unlucky because she was very alone to begin with. Oh, they're actually cleaning up a little bit. Okay, okay. There we go, team. Argus picking it up in the late game. Look at that, man. Dude, it really is tragic. Um, Our jungle hasn't gotten to do much, and then our soul laner has just genuinely not been playing the game for the most part. She is starting to now, it seems like. But Argus is doing a little bit. Yeah, I really do feel like if I just built... I guess I could sell the crit item and feel this out a little bit. Like, we got so much money, why not? How long am I dead for still? 24 seconds, that's enough time to Google it again. We go back. YouTube? Shit, I might have to be ready. History. Infernum buffs makes this a must-buy. We just lost the game. Hang on. Hang on, let me hook you guys up with the build. Mutilator. <laughs> Mutilator. Mutilator was the fifth slot. That's funny. All right, well, we do just lose, I guess. I don't remember what Mutilator actually does exactly. I remember you like partially deal percentage HP, I think. I do think no beads might have been nice. I doubt it mattered that much. Yeah, I mean, in the end, oh, this makes us look troll. We went 17 and five and lost the game. So it just kind of is what it is, right? At the end of the day, that was still fun though. I do wish we got to have more fun in the late game, um, that we got some more balanced fights where I felt like I could actually be aggro. Like, for one thing, we just didn't even have a tanky. I mean, we did almost out damage the entire team. Like, right, right. We did 5x the offlaner. We did almost 5x the jungle. 5xing the sport means nothing. This girl, this girl was my queen. Did a bunch of stuff. Really helpful. I just started doing things late game. I don't know what the deal was there. Yeah, like, we did stuff, right? We did absolutely stupid damage. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking the, the build. And I just need to be able to actually get away with pressing buttons in order to feel like the build's better. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you still enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down